So, as part of this channel, I like to take hard things and make them look easy by showing you tools that make them easier. Usually, I talk about statistics, data analytics, structural equation modeling, things like that. Occasionally, I've talked about AI and a few other things. Today, I wanted to show you consensus. I think lit reviews are a pain in the rear. They take a lot of time to do right, and just finding the right literature often feels like a fool's errand. There's just so much out there. So occasionally, I'll use tools like ChatGPT to help me find references, which occasionally works with the pro version. But there are now tools like Consensus that are specialized LLMs, large language models, just for literature reviews. So I figured I'd show you. Hopefully this will help someone's life be a little bit easier. So here we are on consensus.app. And you do have to create an account, but you can just sign in with Google or Facebook and it's free. If you want to upgrade to pro version, you're more than welcome to. But let me show you what you can do with a free account. Let's just ask a question. Here's something I've been researching recently. What robot or AI attributes promote or inhibit social or emotional bonds with humans? And you'll see what it does is it very quickly searches through, I'm not actually sure how many papers, but probably close to a million or more. And in this version, it'll search the top 10 for you and summarize them and even write a bit of a lit review for you. And then of course, cite them whenever needed. And you can find the full citations down below. Here they are, which you can then cite. Here's the APA format, copy that. Or you can export all of these as an RIS for EndNote or others. You can also filter so it doesn't pull from things like dissertations or master's theses. Let's click on that. You know, I'd really like this to be relevant just for the recent iteration of AI. So pretty much 2019, 2020 and forward. So let me click on 2020. So everything it's going to reference here now must be published since then. And I want it to be a paper that's actually been cited. So I'm going to say at least five citations. I could, if I wanted, pick certain methods, but I'm not going to do that for this one. I could specify what quality journal. I'm going to specify it has to be a Q1 or Q2 journal, according to SJR. And if I wanted, I could specify domains, like which field of discipline the journal would have to come from. And I could specify country of publication. Let's apply. And now it's going to rerun that whole analysis and only use papers from those filtered criteria. There we go. We get a full analysis of top 10 papers that match my question. Then it suggests other things I could ask. I can go down to these references and I can save them to my favorites or to a list I've created. So let's add to my favorites. Done. Then I can go back to it and see it anytime over here. Here's my favorites right here. Let's go back. And here we are back at that lit review. Now, if I wanted, I could actually ask it to do a lit review for me. Please write a lit review for me. Here we go. It is writing a literature review for me based on these articles, citing them as needed. And I could copy that out and edit it, of course, but then use that for my manuscript draft. And there you have it. That is just one simple, quick look at a few of the features in Consensus. Maybe the last thing I'll show you is that you can share anything you do here. Also, I want to tell you about the comparison of using this on the Consensus app versus using it in ChatGPT, because you can use it in ChatGPT with your ChatGPT subscription. The main difference is all these other features like being able to filter and save and export, which are very handy. You just can't do that in ChatGPT. Well, I hope that helps somebody. I hope you find this interesting and useful. Good luck with your lit reviews.